sing low. And now, the star of Politically Incorrect, Thank you very much. Uh, woof, yeah, right. Uh, I tell you, we're into this third day of the cloning era, and it's already gotten at hand. Yesterday they were talking about creating a clone who'd have your spare parts. Seriously, you know, I'm, have spare organs. And on the strength of that rumor, uh, David Crosby started drinking again. That's <laughs> wrong. It also explains uh, Tony Bennett's new song, I Left My Heart in Sam from Frisco. I don't know if it... <laughs> and uh, the White House, always on top of these issues. Uh, it's true, the Clinton administration has demanded a report on all the ramifications of cloning, and also they want to determine the exact moment a fetus can donate money. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Well, they're in trouble a bit again. Uh, the Justice Department has subpoenaed the records of one uh, Johnny Chung. You ever heard about Johnny Chung? Yeah, Johnny Chung, one of the Democratic fundraisers. He's an, a Chinese-American, he, but he kept bringing over to the White House these guys who ran a beer company. They sell beer here in America and in China. And uh, there was one big party. They were all out. They're trying to get favors for the beer company. No one's saying what was served at this party, but right after that, Spuds McKenzie disappeared. I don't know. <laughs> And finally, other science news. The FDA looks like they're finally going to approve the morning after abortion pill or birth control pill. And uh, the FDA said, you know, after years of approving drugs for the terminally ill and the, and the elderly infirm, it's kind of refreshing to okay one for an easy college chick with a bad hangover. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for coming. It's all been satirized. We hope next the show and Lenny is Peter Panoff. Or she is a writer and radio commentator. She'll be performing at Taper 2 this April. Her essay collection is called Depth Takes a Holiday. Sandra Singh Lowe. Hey, baby. Hi. Nice to see you again. Hi. Thanks for coming. He is America's leading forecaster and the author of the huge bestsellers Megatrends and Megatrends 2000. His new one is called Megatrends Asia. John Nesbitt. <laughs> Hey, John. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right, this guy played Steve Keaton on Family Ties. His new series is The Hunger, and his new movie is True Heart. Michael Gross. Michael, oh, welcome back. And is he there? He's there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the originator, the emancipator, the architect of rock and roll. Not to mention God's ambassador of peace, the one, the only, Little Richard. Oh, oh my God. Very exciting, isn't it? To have little Richard here on a night when we're talking about cloning. Because... Well, it's a. Uh... Well... <laughs> Well, that's, if you haven't heard it, uh, you must be in a cave if you haven't. Uh, scientists in Scotland cloned a sheep. They say it is the first time they have ever cloned a mammal, although I have my doubts about the Olsen twins. <laughs> and it is, it's, uh, it's very exciting and it's very scary, much like you, Richard. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I think it's a reminder of just how scary things are. We already have scary things like fertility drugs. People are having, like, quadruplets at, like, yep. age 40. Plastic surgery. That's scary. Not as scary. Is it? <laughs> not, not as scary. scary. Helen Gurley Brown. Not I mean, science town. has created her. Own. <laughs> no, but well, this is really so, scary. I mean... I love that there's a, there's, a, there's a sheep out there named Dolly. Yeah. She's... And, 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 uh, and I thought... The first thing I thought to myself, that frustrated shepherds need never be lonely again. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. 
I mean, it's a, it's a right of initiation in the farm bill. It's, um, it's, a, it's an angle I didn't see covered on Nightline last <laughs> night to that story. Um, well, okay. But I think the fears, though, of, I mean, the one fear is that you're going to make a lot of little Hitlers, right? That's, that's the science fiction fear. Although, yes. I mean, those kinds of... The boys of, from Brazil was Exactly, about exactly. Those kinds of things still happen. I mean, I remember reading about, like, L. Ron Hubbard in Scientology, and I wouldn't say anything bad against them for fear of whatever, but that there would be, you know, speeches <laughs> where they, they'd be like, they'd go, here's L. Ron Hubbard's hat. Here's his hat and all, like, you know, so that he wasn't even around, and so they would keep referring to the, his right. hat as him. So it's like well, the, of having a, a lot of... An entire line of hats. Yeah, uh, L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah, I mean, so even having more L. Ron Hubbards, I think they already do that, is what I I'm saying. I think a lot of black people are worried about it because they, they think that they're going to get rid of all the blacks and, and make only white people. Uh, uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> that, they, that, they, that they feel that, that something like that would happen. A, a guy right. was talking to me, he said, oh my God, they finally did it. I said, what? He said, they're going to get rid of us now. They got a way to make all the people. And, and they want to make, he said, going to make blue eyes and white skin and get rid of the other people. But, but just because they cloned yes. other people doesn't mean that blacks couldn't make each other the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I, well, I'll tell you what. My daddy was very busy, it's 12 of us. <laughs> I just didn't want them to make another Little Richard because it would be very hard to do that. There'll never be another Little Richard. Yeah. No more Little, 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 little Richard. But that, you bring up an interesting point. Say they made a Little Little Richard. Yes. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Now, that's the point. People keep talking about cloning as if you clone somebody and they're... They're not going to have the, ex the experience, the education, the same right. environmental if, factors, so they're not going to be the same person. They're they, going to have the same genetic material, right. which is different. But they'll if, have a very large identity crisis, I think. Oh, yeah. you know, so, so if you clone little Richard right now, that little Richard would be a baby now. and you have know. to have a nice size head. Yeah. <laughs> Got here, I mean, it would be very different in Without the head, honey, it won't be Little Richard. <laughs> <laughs> if any Little Richard come with a small head, no! <laughs> no shut up, get out! It'd have to be the, uh, but you uh, see, the right thing. Mama's still hurting. <laughs> 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 But if they, if they did clone you, and it, now that I talk to you, it seems increasingly less likely. Um, <laughs> you have to understand that it would, it would have your talent. Yes. But because it would, it would come of age in the 21st yes. century, yes. it would not face the same obstacles that you did because of you, because of what you pioneered. Oh, yes. Your clone yes. would not have to go through what you did, so it wouldn't become like you. Mm -hmm. and, would, and it might not have the same inclinations. Now, suppose you had no, it, you decided to... <laughs> Such as no, they are. Yes. Hey, leave his, private, <laughs> leave his private life out of this. Well, I'm saying, let's say you clone a Will Chamberlain. So you get this oh, very, rather. very tall, <laughs> very, very tall baby. Oh, yeah. oh I saw a big, hurt. big, I a know big him. Head, big Personally. everything. <laughs> a bi very big. I suppose, suppose you go to all that trouble and this person decides, I want to be a chef and not a basketball player. But, well, he w but I don't think, I think the clone would be a basketball player, just like I think his clone would be a singer, because you are cloning the same genetic makeup, and obviously what you, your talent is in your genes. <laughs> all right, we have to take a break and we'll be right back. Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by Honda. If you're planning to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect, call 213-852-2655. Okay, we're talking about cloning. I want to ask uh, two further questions. One, I think we should all recognize this could be a hoax, because let's face it, all sheep look alike anyway. <laughs> so the guy says, hey, he cloned a sheep. Oh, Leah, look. look no, I, no uh -uh, I saw one look different. I had a, a friend, he was a sheep, his name was Billy. <laughs> he didn't look nothing like Dolly. Oh, that's... Billy the black sheep. Richard, you're, you're thinking a of a goat. A goat. No, 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 he wasn't a goat. I know the difference, he was a sheep. <laughs> 
and, well, we, and we call her Billy. But in any I case, think, I in think any case, knows his sheep. <laughs> yes, I do know my sheep. I, I think, I, Bill, I think we have time on this. You know, this is still in a very primitive stage. It took them 300 trials to get this one sheep. And uh, it's going to be a long time before we... But nonetheless, the questions have to be asked. And what interests me is if we can clone human beings, then what is it to be human? You get back to some very, very basic questions. Yes. And that's been the case for a long time when we've been now giving people heart transplants and liver transplants. There are 27 different ways to get pregnant. When I was growing up on a sugar beet farm in Utah, there was only one way. But, uh, <laughs> so, but, also, but we have time. But it raises, raises why, this huge question again. What, and I think we're going to become very introspective about what it is to be human. But why do people need to somehow cheat mortality so much? If it's this, it's, it's, we, we, cheat it, we cheat it with religion. We cheat it in every aspect of our lives. I mean, we like don't want to go. We're always looking and for a so loophole. With the fountain of youth. I mean, right. we, we know that man was down there in Florida looking for riches, but we, right. we, we <laughs> got the gloss of the fountain of youth. But, oh, no, I, I, that, you were mentioning that scary idea of then making your own clones so you can, like, borrow organs from well, it as you organ, go on. And that's organ, how organ, organ that? donation. Now, that, that gets kind of interesting. Or, Interesting, but I mean, even because that, rejection is one of the biggest problems with that. The genie's out of the bottle. Somebody's going to say, "Well, how about storing your organs and sort of keep them, uh, keep them, uh, keep them drugged for a, a bunch of years so they don't know they're alive when you need the organ? Then come take it." I mean, it's the sort of physiological equivalent of keeping a car out back and and yeah. and uh, cannibalizing it for parts. Back Although, back on that theory, on that theory, the Except first organ probably just oh, rich people would be able to do it, need, like in coma. I don't think we need a backup. We got to go to another stage anyway. Uh, uh, we just want right. to get through with this. We get through and go on where we're supposed right. to go. That's what I'm and if we're going to get something new anyhow. Well, you won't have these old woo-woos and the wow-wows. <laughs> it would be true. You understand? Uh, 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 it, it would be different. And I think that uh, 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 if you try to put something back there to keep you here, then you ain't going to be here no way. You understand? We're going to a higher stage. Well, well screened. Not that we don't and enjoy these particular woo-woos. Oh, no, no, the, uh, 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 the woo-woos and the who's and then including the boo-boos. Uh, I think we, but when, when we got to go, you got to go. See, right. I don't care if how many livers, how many uh, spleen, whatever you got back there, but you're going to another thing here. God has promised you immortality. Yeah. The God of Abraham is still the God of everything. I think that is the final word on cloning. We'll take a break. <laughs> okay. Uh, we wanted to talk about this issue, which is very controversial, called profiling. This is what the uh, administration is uh, calling it, which is basically uh, <laughs> identifying people by how they look and saying, you know, you are the most likely to be a terrorist. Uh, the White House issued a guideline for 53 recommendations to make flying safer. Uh, number 18 was go higher. I don't know. <laughs> um, but one of them is profiling, which is basically the profile. And unfortunately, the the profile of the terrorist usually is a guy who looks like Yasser Arafat. But, right, right. you know, I mean... Right. That, well, yeah, I mean, it'll I think... never work. It'll never work, Bill. I, and, you know, you put it in the larger context. We live in a very open society, and we really value that a lot. And we don't make any trade-offs unless they're very serious. We've made trade-offs. In airports today, every airport in America, you have to go through uh, uh, this X-ray thing, and you have a stranger look at your luggage. That's very demeaning. Oh, it's but fa but oh, we hate, demeaning. We hate demeaning? getting an airplane that falls to the ground a lot more, so what? we're willing to make right. that trade-off. Wait a second. That's what is demeaning, demeaning about that's, putting your little right. carry-on <laughs> bag on a conveyor belt. What's so demeaning? It takes two no, seconds. No, 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 no. They're not even looking. Speaking, no, when they speaking, to, speaking to his point, though, I think that uh, we're putting the cart before the horse. Before we get into all this profiling, how about actually training the people who are there uh, x-raying the bags? I mean, they're minimum wage people. They've had very little training in most cases. They're, they're the same sort of older folks or younger folks you expect to see at the fast food restaurants. And they can't even make a decent hamburger. But, uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, they... Uh, uh, I think you should start there at the first, the first contact. Those people are not, you know, but trained. But this strikes me as such, you know, this is regimented well, good society. Good luck the next time Everyone you go through. Everyone with an identity yeah, card. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think uh, we Americans are going to put up with that. I, I doubt very much that that will happen. But they already do that, like, at LAX with customs. I mean, I, I know, like, if I go in, my hair's pulled back, and I look 
shiny clean, then I won't get to be uh, pulled over. But if I'm wearing like dark glasses and you know some odd novel and wearing a black trench coat or something, I I'll always well, then out of abundance of caution, they odd check novel. you. But that's an odd that's novel. Different. I would think like either Kafka or Nietzsche but, or something. But Sam, do you really great. think that these minimum wage people no, he's talking they about? Do, are that they do. They do. If you have like People Magazine or Us in oh, the hair, then you seem like kind of like In Style Magazine, oh, Terry Hatcher. Wait a minute. Let me tell you something. I fly every day all over the world. I've been flying for years and years. Flying. I've been flying. Huh. And i tell you something. I fly. Ain't talking about fly high. We offer nothing high drugs. I'm talking about in the plane. Uh, you know, I don't like flying, but I fly. I have to. I think I, I'm scared up there. I, every time they hear the thing, I, ah, I'll have to look up. Shut up. I, 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 I'm screaming. I'm praying loud. Uh, you think I'm be wanting to open the Red Sea. But I pray hard because I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie. And when the I am scared up there. Stop whoever it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't care whose rights it is. It's my right to. I got to get on an airplane. Stop that joker. If he got on a turban, take it off and see what's up under there. <laughs> yeah. but, hmm. I got well. to get on this plane. If he got on a long rope, take that dress off. <laughs> see what's up under that robe. He ain't preaching no gospel. He ain't baptizing nobody. Take it off. <laughs> and see what he got up under. Because I want to know who's on that plane with me. I don't want nobody on that jiving and spraying around. See what I'm saying me? I don't want to. If you ain't percolating, get off. <laughs> you understand me? Richard, uh, I'd like you to elaborate on your point. But <laughs> I, I don't think I quite get your meaning, but uh, that's... I'm that's just scared. Real, I'm scared. I, of I understand, but... You, but and whoever takes the stop to get it right, stop him. But if this, if he's black, stop him. If he's white, but I stop him. Say, but if he's an uh, Indian, <laughs> take his teepee, stop him. <laughs> but I don't want nobody fooling around with them wings now. But Richard, this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nobody fooling you. Eat the chicken wings, but don't bother that plain wings. Don't bother them wings, honey. Okay. Shut up, would you? <laughs> I, but obviously, this is, obviously this, is a subject, this is a subject that is, that is dear to your heart. Yes. Uh, I'm scared. Yeah, but, right. But you do Wait. understand that such things have been turned against Afri African Americans. Yeah, in well, the I'm past. getting to that too. If you... <laughs> I'm getting to that too. A as scared as I am, I don't care if you're from Egypt. Uh... Stop him! Stop him! I don't want nobody fooling with the plane now. I don't care if it's my mama. Stop her! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our second show begins at 12.30. Enjoy <laughs> Mr. Anka. We'll be right back. Join us while we're going to have, uh, oh, Alan Alda, Cindy Crawford, Kevin Rooney, and Arianna Huffington. Okay. Now, we thought since we were talking about uh, cloning, and some people have said besides, ooh, they're going to make dictators, they could also make a genius. And we have on the panel a genius. Uh, <laughs> I thought I would ask, uh, just briefly in our time, what do you think makes a genius? Is there one thing? What makes someone a genius? Well, I, th I think a genius is someone who sees something no, no one else sees or makes something mm. that wasn't there before. But, you know, we can go back to Emerson. Emerson said, and think about this. He said, genius is saying what's in your heart because it's in everybody's heart. There's a kind, there's mm. a kind of aspect of creativity to genius, I think. But I think in science, like Stephen Hawking, a genius, he ch takes the field in a totally new, different place. Of course, if you cloned him, then you'd have that other wheelchair. Yeah. Think so, you know. What about an evil genius? Aren't there? I mean, they say Hitler was an evil genius. There there, are... You can be genius at something bad, can't you? Yeah. I mean, you could have turned your gift to evil. <laughs> oh, don't let me start. No, don't get don't, started. No, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you know? But I did. No. <laughs> so what I did, uh, um, I created rock and roll. 
You right. got to remember the rhythm and blues. What you got to remember that rhythm and blues had a baby, and somebody named it rock and roll. Yes. You understand but, me? And so that that that's you know, and and back in that time it was nothing like that. It was swing and sway with Sammy Kay. But it's and pennies from heaven, but they weren't falling in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but but is it something you're born with? Do you have to be born a genius? Can you become a genius? Can you will yourself to be a genius? I think the native talent has got to be there, but, you know, as they say, you know, 5% uh, instinct.